we are have our first lesson in which I'm going to show you what is JavaScript and how to run it. So, what is JavaScript? Uh, JavaScript, this is a programming language which can you run under browser. Well, some people may say that nowadays uh, we can run JavaScript under Node.js on uh, phones or uh, on servers. But basically JavaScript, this is language which runs uh, under browser. And we are going to study it and uh, run it under browser because basically it was uh, created for browsers. And to run it we need to create some HTML file. Uh, as you know all browsers they usually uh, show us some HTML and uh, without uh, HTML you can create. I hope you already know HTML, you saw my lessons or some other people lessons and you know what is HTML. So <coughs> to run JavaScript we need to create HTML file. Let's do this. Uh, let's call it lesson HTML and here we added some HTML tags. Uh, here we can have body. And uh, some, let's say, div. So that's all. That's our HTML. We can run uh, under browser. And here it is, our hello world example. <coughs> so now we are we want to run some JavaScript. Uh, for this we need to use a script tag. So it will be like script. And here we can run some code. For example, the first that you could learn this is uh, method alert. No, oh, it's function alert. Uh, here you can uh, send some data there and now if I uh, update this file I will have uh, this uh, notification. This notification was sent uh, when I call this method alert and it showed me this uh, string. So and uh, that's how JavaScript works. Uh, <coughs> So there is couple ways to run JavaScript. First is uh, run JavaScript uh, uh, to run script uh, tag here in our HTML file. Also it can be run anywhere from the script. For example I can put it here and run and the result will be the same. So uh, my JavaScript was run and it showed me alert with some message. Uh, second example it's something like this. I can add text script and say that I want to use some file. For this I use attribute src and let's call it test.js. Yeah, that's all. So now all I need to do is just create file test.js. And here I can run, uh, write alert hello for example so now if I would update this file <coughs> it doesn't work let's see why str src I meant yeah so as you see it works uh, exactly the same it just uh, my JavaScript was in separate file uh, so I can run uh, JavaScript from uh, some other files and this is really cool because I can reuse this code I can uh, I can write uh, this uh, script with src on uh, many pages and all pages will run this uh, my JavaScript files uh, this is very common and uh, good technique so the third way to run JavaScript it's from the browser. Uh, well, if I uh, click right uh, uh, mouse button and uh, click inspect, there will be open uh, this window 
it's in Google Chrome and there is console well I hope you know if you study HTML you know that there is uh, some uh, elements uh, this is like uh, three of my elements which I wrote here like body div HTML etc so uh, and also there is a console in console I can write some JavaScript for example alert I can alert function and write like hello from console and run it and as you see I had message hello from console so my JavaScript was run it was run from this console uh, and also there is two main functions that we are going to use for uh, for showing how everything works it's alert and console log console log it's work like this hello world so console log just uh, basically write something in console for example here it run hello world to our console uh, same thing I can do here so if I write uh, let's say console log Uh, if I write uh, console log and some message like here and then I rerun my uh, HTML file so when it runs it run my script from here and in console we have some message so this uh, script was run and we got some result as you can hear uh, as you can see here so basically that's all JavaScript so JavaScript this is uh, programming language which can be run under browser well we can do a lot of things for example uh, I just want to show you a small example to see why why are we needed so uh, let's write some code you will not understand probably this code but anyway I just want to show you why why are we need uh, JavaScript so let's say document get element by ID ls style color um, red and here my <coughs> uh, this string become red as you see and this was uh, happen when I run this JavaScript code uh, what does it do never mind I will tell you later we will discuss everything we will know how to work with it uh, today I just want uh, I just want to show you why do we need this and as you see we need to change our HTML so JavaScript uh, really very powerful because it uh, can change uh, our pages if there was no JavaScript uh, you just see simple text on your pages and nothing but nowadays JavaScript is very powerful you can see like uh, opening menus uh, opening some uh, I don't know uh, new data forms or something like this sometimes it's very beautiful Pe people imagination can create a really uh, nice scene and to uh, make our pages dynamic uh, to change something on this for example like on YouTube when you uh, um, moving mouse on some uh, video you can see preview this is also done uh, thanks to JavaScript it's uh, <laughs> loading some uh, video preview and show it to you so this is very powerful scene and if you want to learn it welcome uh, we are going to study JavaScript from the beginning to the uh, the most uh, the most difficult stuff so uh, there uh, I will show you all JavaScript or everything almost everything that you can do with it and after this course you will uh, you will be JavaScript professional and then you can go uh, to study some frameworks or something like this if you want to and uh, yeah Th that's what we are going to do uh, well that's all for today my point was to show you how to run JavaScript so we need script uh, tag in HTML uh, or some different uh, script file or you can run it in console um, 
that's all and uh, after today you know that JavaScript this is just language that can be run under browser so that's all guys uh, thank you for watching and uh, have a nice day bye